Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about Haxflixel because <laughs> it's alive! It's alive! Yeah, Haxflixel 5 was just released, and I gotta actually admit, for these very long-running mature 2D frameworks, more frequent releases kind of become less required because they're full featured, you know? So uh, this one has been, I think, four or five years since the 4.0 was released. And even if you go to their website, which is hacksflixel.com, by the way, uh, go check out their blog. You can see the last major blog post was 2020. And Hacksflixel 4.4, the last one they, they did release notes on, was back in May of 2018. So definitely looking kind of dead from their website perspective. Now Hackslixel is a very cool framework. It is a combination of three different technologies. As you can see, it runs on a variety of different platforms. The very cool thing about it is it is very well documented. You're going to find good materials to get you up and going. As I mentioned, I also did a tutorial series. You also have decent demos to get you up and going. And this provides all of the functionality that you would expect to require in a 2D game. So you see here from Flixel, you got things like input handling, math, pathfinding, tiles, um, animation, UI, and so on. So if you want to create a cross-platform 2D game and you want to use the Hacks programming language, Hacksflixel could be a good pickup for you. Now, there are three components that go together to make Hacksflixel a thing. First, you've got Hacks. Hacks is a cross-platform programming language. Um, it sort of ended up being a very natural landing ground for uh, ActionScript programmers. That's the programming language behind the Flash programming language. Very similar. It's kind of like a mashup between ActionScript and Swift, or I could actually say Swift is more of a Hacks ripoff because it came later. Uh, it's a very comfortable language to work with. I, I do enjoy working with Hacks. It's kind of lost a bit of its thunder lately. It was all over the place like three or four years ago, but now you hear kind of more and more about like Rust and C Sharp and less about Hacks, but Hacks is a very solid cross-platform uh, programming language. That is the one of the parts of Hacks Flixel, as you can tell by the name. Uh, the other part is OpenFL. This is the underlying... Um, layer below it. This is sort of a compatibility layer to the old Flash language or the Flash APIs. So if you were a Flash developer and you were trying to migrate to a different world, OpenFL made uh, hacks kind of, again, a very natural fit. This is sort of like SDL level of functionality in terms of what is provided. Uh, and then on top of that, we have uh, the Flixel game engine. This is an open source library for making games back written in the world of ActionScript 3. So basically, hacks Flixel, the Flixel part is they clone the API. Uh, used to make the original Flixel game engine. Now, this one goes back in time, probably 20 years at this point in time. So those three work together. So you got Hacks, OpenFL, and then Flixel. Those all to combine, all of those technologies, put them together, and you get Hacks Flixel. Hacks Flixel, by the way, is an open source project, as you can see. Uh, it is available on the MIT license. Now, I said there hasn't been a major point release in like five years, and that part is 100% true, but there are still frequent updates. So we have the 5.0 update that we were talking about today. But you can see here, we've got uh, 4.11 was released back in January. So again, not a ton of updates here. So January, September, April, you're getting minor updates throughout the year. So there are bug fixes. There are people working on it that just kind of seem to drop the plot when it comes to actually updating their website side of things, which... You know, it is a bit of shame because it does make the project look more dead than it actually is. Uh, Hackslixel had its roots in the original ActionScript 3 version of Flixel, created by uh, Adam Saltzman. Uh, I was started by Alexander Holov in 2011. So we're talking a pretty long pedigree here, not 20 years, I guess, totally, but uh, quite a bit of time. But oh no, so that is as a straightforward hack port of the AS3 code base. Uh, so the Flixel power tools go back even further. So my 20 years may actually be accurate on this one. Again, there are a ton of demo products to get you up and going. And then on top of that, there is really good documentation for that one. And as I mentioned earlier on, I actually did a tutorial series for this. This tutorial series was done back in uh, 2017. But as you'll find, uh, it covers all the basics. Hello world, sprites, drawing, input, cameras, animation, sound and music. Uh, and then uh, getting your development environment up and running Visual Studio Code, as well as a YouTube playlist of everything we just saw there above. And then even though that's like four or five years old at this point in time, well, the last major release was like four or five years ago. So this should be completely compatible uh, still. And if you look at what is actually announced in the 5.0 release, I think the more impressive part is that it is still 
updated and live. And really, guys, you got to put something on your blog so people know this. Uh, but the major features of Flixel 5.0.0 are improved collisions, revamped asset path tools, customized pathfinding, and fixed point operators and helpers. If you are interested, there is a migration guide out there that kind of walks you through the new features and functionality of Hacks Flixel 5.0. Uh, so the new features are all documented here. Uh, but yeah, I'm guessing that a lot of you have probably never heard of Hacks Flixel before. It is a very um, interesting project. It's easy to work with. I like the Hacks language. Uh, it does, again, both seem to sort of be losing momentum in this day and age. Uh, but they're, they're both fun to work with, well documented, and they compile to just about every platform you can imagine. So uh, if you've never checked it out before, maybe now is a good time to check out Hacks Flixel. And congratulations on the 5.0.0 release. Good to hear you are not dead. Let me know what you think of Hacks Flixel and this release in the comments down below. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.